Holyrood is static techniques. It's one of the easiest modules in, in the course. So you have already gone through the one of the complicated ones, so you will find it really, really easy. It's something we, we do in, uh, in our day-to-day -day jobs. Most of you must have done review in, in your job profile, right? You must have reviewed a document. Have you ever done that? Reviewed a document? Maybe while you were studying, uh, yeah. yeah. So this whole module is all about like designing and understanding a review process that we we use in our day day to day life. When it comes to testing, you know, projects, it becomes more uh, it becomes very process oriented. So you'll have to follow a step by step process to do that review. You can't just so. So we'll discuss all the terminologies. They are in formal reviews and formal reviews. So I'll start giving you understanding about that. So we'll move to presentation later. Initially, I'll start with the whiteboard thing. Right. <coughs> so open a whiteboard. So until now, the testing we have we have discussed. Everything was dynamic, right? Like we have, we had a code. We were testing, we were executing that code and finding defects in that in component testing, right? Then in integration, we were again executing code to check the integration. We was we were entering a data, submitting, uh, submitting a button and seeing if the if the result results were coming fine or not. Then we were checking the system. So until now, we were just doing all the dynamic stuff. So this module is all about, so we were doing the execution. So execution, right? So this module is all about static. From the name, you can say that you're not going to do any execution. You will just examine things. It's all about examining manually, manually or using set of tools. So there are different set of tools that we will discuss later, but that's a basic difference. So we have discussed how to do testing dynam using dynamic techniques by executing codes. In this module, we'll discuss how to do testing statically. You're just examining by just examining the stuff. We can we can do testing and find effects. So now this is a take technique like examining things manually. So what exactly can we test using static testing we can test our requirements right we can test designs we can test um, test testing documents testing artifact artifacts then maintenance documents like any kind of document that you use in day to day life in your jobs as well. If you review it, if you examine it manually, thoroughly, you call it static testing. Right. So now you you examine it manually as part of static testing and you test these test objects, but what exactly you find? What sort of defects do you find in this testing? So you find defects in terms of deviation of standards like there must now there is always a standard to write a document to write something right if you are deviating from the standard that becomes a defect in static testing or there is a missing requirement so say you are a business owner and a business analyst has a has has written a requirement document and he has re written like 10 requirement but he has missed a requirement where a system should say return um, returns a, a currency conversion uh, rate or something so if you review that document and you find that that requirement is missing you it's like you're finding a defect in the document right so missing requirement and then you can uh, find design related defects design you can find design related defects 
you can like straight away say okay so this your form you can tell developer your form has met, doesn't have a button or a, or a field by just looking at them you are not executing a code you are just looking at you can looking at something statically right then you can uh, just check the like again the GUI GUI part of thing and different interfaces fine like everything clear with this until now so it's, it's very very basic you are doing testing like manually just reading the documents requirements designs testing materials and finding uh, the defects like there isn't any deviation in the standard there isn't a missing requirement design related stuff free stuff all clear Just the docs, yes. Just the documents. Reviewing a document and finding faults in the document. Say someone has written a document and he has written a requirement document a design specification. And you are studying it and finding a fault in it. Like not a spelling fault, not like you can you are saying him that there is a grammatical error that you haven't used R instead of is. So that won't be called a defect. You you are actually finding a technical defect. You are actually finding a deviation from the standard or requirement or a design thing. Now, it's a first step basically. In practical scenario, review comes first. Yeah, without executing the code, you are reading a document. You are reading a document and you are just examining it. They're not running anything in this. All right. Okay. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Static is all related to review. Got up. Just like when it comes to review when. Before you start testing, you're, you're going to actually review the document. So that becomes your static testing. So this is a uh, this is related to only um, documents, but I'll I'll discuss some static tools as well. Because when you, I I don't know like how how many of you understand the coding stuff as well, but when you write a code, you have to use it. Um, specific syntax so there are some static analysis codes that that can actually okay there are some static tools that can analyze your code and find your find the defects that they, they they'll tell you what are the deviations in your code yes yes exactly you know the compiler shell compiler that compiles your code and gives the warnings so that's like a static analysis tool. It will tell you uh, that you have made this error. Uh, your syntax is wrong. So that's that's basically a static analysis. So you're not running a